Alright, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at creating an animation here in SketchUp for Web of a 3D model. Now, specifically, we cannot create or we cannot export an animation uh, from SketchUp for Web, but we can create an animation. And you might say, well, why would you want to create an animation if you can't export it and share it. Well, the reason that we might want to do that is because while we cannot create an animation with SketchUp, we can use other programs to create animations. We can capture our screen and as SketchUp is animating our model, we can capture that and then we can save that animation that we captured on our screen. Okay, and there's all kinds of screen capture software. Uh, obviously, I have one that I use right now. It's called Camtasia. Uh, I've had it for years and years and years. I'm using Camtasia 8, which is ancient in software years. Uh, I've just, it does everything I need it to do and does it well, so I haven't upgraded. But there are lots of different options out there to capture your screen. So, and some of them are free and some of them are really, really cheap. Camtasia, I wouldn't consider cheap. But, uh, but, um, but it's affordable, I guess. Um, but there are other definitely cheaper options out there than Camtasia that will do an equally good job. So, how do we create the animation in SketchUp for Web? Well, I've opened up our 3D model here of our bar. We're going to come into Scenes. And we're going to come down to My Scenes, and first and foremost, we want to delete all of our existing scenes. So, I don't know if we can select, I don't think we can select multiple scenes at once, I wish we could. But, let's go ahead and just delete all of our existing scenes. So we just click and hit delete and delete and delete and delete. In Camtasia, we can specify what portion of the screen we want to capture, and that will become uh, quite useful to us momentarily here. So, the way we create a animation is, first of all, we're going to add a scene. So, we're going to add this scene, just as you see it here. And you can call it whatever you want. So, in this case, it's just going to default to scene 1. And then, we're going to use our orbit tool here to then rotate to a different a view. And then we're just going to click on Add Scene. And it will create another scene for us. So there is Scene 2. And again, we can use uh, the Orbit command to rotate around. We can zoom in and out if we need to. We'll go ahead and... I try not to zoom in and out when I'm doing this type of animation. I strictly uh, will just rotate it, add another scene, and now what I'll do is I'll preview this animation and what I think it will do. So if I click on play, then we can just kind of cycle through what this animation will show us. So it goes to that view, to that view, comes around to that view, to that view, and then circles back around. Okay, so that's, that's pretty slick. I, I'm pretty happy with that. Now if we click on the settings options here, see it says enable scene transitions. We may not necessarily need that. And then it says delay time between we're going to have no delay and then watch that animation. So you can see there 
uh, that's what it'll do in that situation. Well, that's not going to be very good, is it? Uh, so let's do no delay time, but let's enable transitions. So you can, now you can kind of see that it's kind of moving. And let's just open that up to one second. So it stops at that scene endpoint for one second. I think I like that. Okay, so if we capture just this part of the screen where the animation's happening, then we could save that and send it to our customer and they could see it a little bit, uh, see their project a little bit easier. So that's, that's kind of fun. We can also change the the type of camera that we're using, which that I guess that could be fun, and make it look a lot different. But usually, you're just going to use your perspective camera, and there you go. So yes, so pretty easy to create uh, animations, but you will have to have some type of third-party software to save your and capture your screen to actually save that animation. So I hope you enjoyed this one and thanks for watching.